universe exists on an incomprehensible scale. A supposedly infinite darkness punctuated with at least 70 sextillion stars shining their light through the cosmos. There are more stars out there than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth, meaning it would be impossible to truly comprehend the immense size of our universe. And yet, planets like ours appear to be rare, even on this scale. A speck of blue in the infinite abyss, we are unique in the solar system. There is one phenomenon found here that we have yet to find anywhere else in the observable universe. Life, the product of chemistry and biology, and one of the true great marvels of existence. Risen from the primordial soup in the early years of our planet, life forged a path through the ages. Driven by the need to survive and the will to evolve, it changed, adapted, crawled from turbulent waters to conquer land and sky, giving rise to empires and dynasties. Three point five billion years of evolution, with every step written in the rocks beneath our feet. The steps that lead towards the rise of humanity. It is midnight on the geological clock, present day, and a familiar scene is playing out. We are currently living through the Anthropocene era, the most recent period in Earth's history. It began when human activity started to have a significant impact on the planet's climate and ecosystems. Within this era, which may have only begun somewhere in the mid-20th century, we have already left our mark on the planet. Cities have risen from nature's great wilderness since humanity's dawn, ravaging ecosystems and habitat without regard for the life that inhabits them. One million species are now at risk of extinction, and 36.2 gigatons of carbon dioxide emissions are given out each year from fossil fuels and industry. And all of this has taken place in only the last two seconds on the geological timescale. To see where it began, we need to turn back the clock by 4.5 billion years. It's 12 a.m. when the Earth begins to form from the solar nebula. Small particles come together, bound by the force of gravity, into larger particles. Earth's rocky core forms first, with heavy elements colliding together. Dense material sinks to the centre, while the lighter material creates the planet's crust. The magnetic field forms, and Earth's gravity captures some of the gases that make up the early atmosphere. Several hours pass on the geological clock, as the planet cools from a molten state. Over immense periods of time, our primitive oceans formed. Water could only exist as a gas until the Earth finally cooled below 100 degrees Celsius. At this time, about 3.8 billion years ago, the water condensed into rain which fell upon our rocky planet, filling up the basins that are now our oceans.
more than four billion years ago, the young Earth had developed conditions that allowed the generation of the basic building blocks of life. Nucleic acids, amino acids, and lipids. These macromolecules gave rise to prototype cells that would lead to the earliest life forms. The cradle of life that nurtured these early organisms was no Garden of Eden. It was a magma-bleeding abyss where no light from the sun could reach. The deep sea vents, where the last universal common ancestor gave rise to two domains of life, the archaea and bacteria. These organisms thrived in an anaerobic world, for there was no oxygen in the early atmosphere. It wasn't until around 2.5 billion years ago when cyanobacteria first evolved, photosynthetic organisms which began the vital task of producing oxygen. By six o'clock on our 12-hour geological clock, the atmosphere was oxygen-rich, a vital step in Earth's history which would enable complex life to evolve further down the line. The next crucial chapter occurred two billion years ago. Two microbes drifting in the deep sea vents had a unique interaction. One was an archaeon and the other a bacterium. One devoured the other and the two became one, giving rise to the last domain of life. Eukaryotes, the first life forms to contain genetic material as DNA in the form of chromosomes contained within a distinct nucleus. This interaction created the progenitor of all fungi, plants, and animals, as the swallowed bacterium evolved into the power-generating mitochondria, which all eukaryotic life forms depend on. For most of the Earth's history, the planet was dominated by only single-celled life, drifting in the oceans. This was the Proterozoic period a time which lasted for nearly two billion years, during which life existed only in simple forms. And as this period came to an end, the cell did something spectacular. A new era dawned upon Earth, one that would catalyze and revolutionize the game of evolution. The Cambrian Explosion. Diversification and evolution that arose from the Cambrian explosion was so great that life began evolving in new and incredible ways. 
This laid the foundations of the three great eras that would follow on planet Earth. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. The next chapters in the story of life.